Today, we're going to be continuing to work on multiplication. Doing really well. And we're My going main to objectives for the lesson was, first of all, for the children to practice their multiplication facts and to make sure that, that those tables facts were rapid recall um, and to try and embed those. Um, and then also to move some children from using the grid method of multiplication into a more formal algorithm. To start with, I thought what we should do is practice some of the rapid recall of those 21 tricky facts that we looked at last week. To help you to do that, I've got a game for you today. So you've got some triangles, don't touch them just yet. Just have a look. Triangles on your table with your partner. If you turn over a triangle, but sneakily keep your thumb over one of the numbers. And show it to your partner and ask them to see if they can work out or if they know instantly the number that's under your thumb. That would be eight. Yeah. Um, um, nine sixes are 54. 46. No, wait, no. 48. How did you know it's 48? Are you certain? Um, yeah, because 5 times 8 is 40 and then plus another 8. It's important that the children explore numbers in lots of different ways and that feeds into their learning of their multiplication facts. 20, 28. 28. Why? Oh, yeah. Because 7 times 4 is 28. Four. And why is that the answer? Because eight times four is 32. Yeah. They start to discover the patterns behind some of these multiplication facts. OK, so I saw a lot of children who are knowing more and more of those <coughs> multiplication facts instantly. just want to talk about one or two that maybe weren't instant. Hayden, do you want to tell me about a couple maybe that you didn't know instantly but you could work out pretty quickly? Um... Eight sixes. Eight sixes. You didn't know what that was instantly? No. So how did you work it out? Well, I did eight fives and then I did another eight. So you did five eights or eight fives, yeah. which was? Forty. Forty. And then you added an eight, so six eights are? Forty-eight. Forty-eight. Was there another one as well? Nine sixes. Nine sixes. And how did you do that one? I did ten sixes and then took away um, a minus six. OK, so 10 sixes is? Um, 60. Subtract a 6? 54. Fantastic. OK, anybody else want to share a strategy they used for one they didn't know instantly? I yes. got eight eights wrong. Well, I got it wrong the first time, and then I did nine eights, which is 72, and I took away eight from that, which got me 64. OK, so you didn't know what eight eights were, but you knew what nine eights were. You know your nines, don't you? Yeah. And so then you took away an eight from your nine eights. Fantastic. Yeah.